so important that we can begin to consider that we have a true purpose in being in the world. Not a purpose that we invent for ourselves, but that lives within us, kept safely deep within us by a greater intelligence, the intelligence that we have brought with us into the world. Such a different way of thinking about yourself and your future and how you're going to proceed and how you're going to find out what you need to know. And it's so important here, I think, to realize that part of what you need to know will come from the world and part of what you need to know will come from this deeper intelligence within you. In fact, even your calling in life will likely be stimulated or called forth from you, from something in the world that you are innately meant to respond to. Not just a desire or an interest or a fascination, but something deeper that really speaks to you. And this does not mean necessarily what your role will be or how you will proceed, but it's something to mark as a sign, as a signal that you are connected to something in the world that will play a part in what you may be able to do in the future. I know that people want answers and they want resolution, but great skills, great intelligence, a greater purpose in life are not revealed all at once. You take a journey to discover them. And in the new message, God has given us a journey to take, a journey not of our own making, a journey that has not been created here on earth, but a journey that enables us to engage with the world and with ourselves in a whole new way. I know that may be hard to believe, and I don't require you to believe that or even expect you to believe that, because I want you to experience this journey for yourself, should you choose to take it. I want you to feel as you go whether this is resonating within you, even though you're not quite sure what it is or where it's going to take you or what you might have to learn or what might change in your life as a result. Because you see, real learning is not simply validating what you believe. It's not seeking confirmation for your held views or your deep assumptions about life. That's not learning. That's, that's the opposite of learning. Learning is breaking new ground in your life, going where you've never gone before, learning new skills, reevaluating old ideas, discarding them if necessary, or expanding them if that is appropriate. So we're in an environment of real learning here, kind of breakthrough learning, because the world around us is facing such monumental change that we cannot simply be the way we've always been and have any hope of being able to navigate this world, to survive within it, to prosper within it, to be safe within it. This is why God has sent this great message into the world the largest revelation ever given to humanity. And when you begin to explore it, you'll see how vast it is, how deep it is. In fact, it's so deep that when you study Steps to Knowledge, if you go all the way through it, which I recommend, you have only skimmed the top part of it. It holds so much in words very simple, words given that can be translated into other countries, languages, very simply, hold a kind of depth that is very rare to see in anything of the written word. And in addition, you have the voice of revelation. You will hear this voice. Such a voice that spoke to the Jesus and the Buddha and the Muhammad. Other great messengers sent into the world at pivotal turning points in the history of humanity. This represents the next iteration of that divine process. As we stand now at the threshold of a radically changing world with great hazards, great uncertainties, but also a great opportunity to unite the human family in ways that were never possible before for the protection of the world and for the safety of humanity. But to see these things and to feel these things and to understand how you may be able to participate requires a preparation of a very unique kind. It's not something you can put together for yourself by an eclectic approach, 
of taking ideas from different religions and patching them together into your own self-styled journey. God has sent a ladder down for us. This ladder is called now the new message from God. And it reverberates with all the great ladders that God has sent into the world before at pivotal turning points in the history and evolution of humanity. You will know that this is from a greater source, not from some spiritual figure, not from a simple voice in the universe, but from a greater power beyond what we can comprehend. You will feel it, you will see it. And as you follow it and learn of it, doors will begin to open within you that you could not open yourself. And yet the new message gives us a lot of responsibility it asks us to be in the driver's seat of our life. There's no giving over the reins here. There's no giving over to God. Knowledge will be in the back seat guiding you, but you have to navigate the traffic of the world and all the details of the world, and in this way become a more competent, more wise, more capable, and more certain person. This is a new way for humanity because humanity is facing a future unlike the past. It is facing it's bound to a universal and intelligent life. It is facing intervention from forces in the universe that are already here in the world for their own purposes, which the new message reveals in great detail. The new message reveals what our local universe is actually like to live in, something that has never been offered before, something that we can understand, so different from our movies or our fiction or imagination. The greater panorama of life that reflects so much of what we know and have experienced here on Earth. This is the brave new adventure and a journey to take. And you will know to take it because in your heart you will know to take it. And even if you only visit it and gather a few ideas from it, these things will help you as you proceed. This is the gift of revelation. It has come at a time of the greatest need in importance. It is not what people think. It is not what people expect. It is not what has been taught before, necessarily. Though ancient wisdom is still reflected in the new message profoundly, it is a great new beginning for you. And for all those who will be amongst the first to receive it, the first responders. So I send you my encouragement, the blessing of heaven, and I am glad that you could join us for this vigil. It is so important that we consider these things together, that we reflect upon them deeply, and that we begin to approach them and utilize them in our own lives. So I'd like to conclude now with a blessing. My blessing is, may this power of knowledge, this deeper, mysterious intelligence within us, begin to point our lives in the right direction to keep us from giving our life away to people, places, and things that do not represent our destiny. May we trust that which is mysterious that moves us forward. May we be willing to go beyond the limits of belief into a deeper realm of experience, because God and the way exist there, waiting to be followed and discovered. May the blessing be with you. And thank you for being with us in this vigil, and I hope to see you again as we proceed.